In this tutorial, I want to show you how to use the easy mockup templates for Corel Draw. This tutorial applies to all mockup templates from the Vector Lab that have the easy mockup templates logo. So what we're going to do here is let's go into Corel Draw and let's open a template. Here's a men's front t-shirt template. And the first thing we want to do is let's open our objects window. So let's go to window inspectors objects and you'll see we have some layers here and I'll show you how these work. So let's, uh, let's go into another file where I have a t-shirt graphic and let's just select this and copy it. Go back into the t-shirt mockup template. You'll see there's an example graphic layer. Let's just turn the visibility of that off and you'll see below this is a layer called your art. So let's just command V, command or control V to paste in that graphic and we can scale it down and position it appropriately. I want this to be a chess graphic and I think that's starting to look pretty good. But what we wanna do here is let's go to our background color. I'm just gonna turn this to white and you'll see we have a drop shadow effect. That's a layer above that. You could turn this off with this eyeball icon. Above this is a fabric color layer. What we can do is drop this little arrow down, select the curve that makes this t-shirt shape and instead of assigning this a black color to make a black t-shirt, what we want to do is a dark gray. So let's assign that a dark gray. And the reason we don't want to use 100% black swatch is because our shadows and our highlights disappear in the case of a black t-shirt. So let's go back and just assign this a dark gray. And you'll see another layer above this called optional shading for dark fabric. So let's just turn this on and all of a sudden you'll notice these highlights and shadows look a lot better. And one more thing, let's say we wanted to make a sleeve graphic. So let's go back into this other file. You'll see I have a little graphic here. Let's just copy this, go back into the template, go back to the Your Art layer and paste in this sleeve graphic. Let's move it over here and I'm gonna scale it down a little bit and let's rotate this about 35 degrees. And let's go into the background color here again and let's just assign it a blue. And that'll make it obvious that this sleeve graphic is overhanging off the edge of this shirt. So what we can do here is let's go up to this clipping path layer. And if I expand that, you'll see there's a, a shirt outline. So let's turn this on and you'll see this pink line going around everything. So what we want to do here is let's lock this shading layer here on the top. Just lock that so it doesn't get in the way. And we can go here, select our sleeve graphic, and then go to Object, Power Clip, Place Inside Frame, and you'll see this arrow here. And we can just click on this shirt outline. And to get that outline to be invisible, let's just turn the stroke weight to none. And now you can see that sleeve graphic is cropped out at the edge of the shirt. So that's how to use the easy mock-up templates for CorelDRAW.